Welcome to BMC Helix Video Solution. Today we'll discuss how to set due date and priority for incident. So first we'll log into Salesforce. After logging to Salesforce, we need to go to the Remedy Force Administration tab. Then once you click on the Remedy Force Administration, we have to go to the application settings. Under the applications, we can see the general application setting options. So once you click on this, we have uh, options for how the due date exactly get it calculated. So the first option will be the use the organization default business hours to calculate the due date. Second is use open date instead of current date to calculate the due date. And the third is when the priority change, recalculate the due date without user inputs. So these are the three options we get under the due date settings. For more details, uh, we can click on the help for this page. And from this page, based on the business requirement, we can understand and configure how the due date can be changed. So here is the option where you can see the default settings for the due date and you can also check the different examples as well. So now we'll check how to select the priority for the incident, how it will get exactly configured. We need to go to the Remedy Force Administration tab. Once you click on the Remedy Force Administration, now we need to select Configure Application option drop down. Under this, we'll get option for the priority. Once you click on the priority, we'll get a table, whatever the priority is set by default. So the first option for the priority one, I'll open this. So here the priority one is equal to duration for two hours and it should be selected when the impact is high and urgency is high. Similar way we have a priority two, three, four and five. Based on the organization requirement, we can update the duration and the impact and urgency. So now we'll quickly go to the Remedy 4 console. I will create one incident and show you how it's work. So we'll click on new incident. I will select the client ID. Then I will select the category. I will select application access. Then we have uh, status and priority detail where we need to select impact. I'll keep it as a high. Urgency, I'll keep it high to see how the priority get updated to one. And then I'll click on this, save. So now if you see the record, the priority is updated to priority one. So this is the how you can select the due date and the priority on the incident object. Thank you for watching this video.